Did you hear the news? A snowstorm is approaching. That means cozy sweaters, hearty dinners, and the chance that maybe, just maybe, us kids would get that faithful, wonderful, best news of our lives, a snow day. But the thing is, snow days used to mean so much more than school cancellation. Getting a snow day meant an adventure of non-stop, wholesome, action-packed fun. These days, getting trapped by the weather can look like any other day, with everyone's eyes glued to their phones playing games. But we knew back then a whole adventure awaited us outdoors, and we took full advantage, armed only with sleds, shovels, and of course, the beautiful flakes gathering across the neighborhood. Welcome to Do You Remember? I am your host, Nostalgic Nick, and today we're going to remember the wonders of a snow day. All wrapped up in a too puffy coat with some bread bags in our boots, just in case. If you enjoy our video, please give it a thumbs up to show support, and subscribe to our channel for more trips down memory lane. But without further ado, let's head on out into that winter chill. Snow Day Memories so school has finally let out, but my mind's already thinking about tomorrow. Do I really want to wish away my precious few hours outside of class? No. But the staticky voice on the radio had been talking about a coming snowstorm all afternoon. And that had to mean one thing. A snow day tomorrow. Okay, it's not a guarantee. Schools were stingy with closing. We can, and did, walk out in any weather. But this one coming sounds like a blizzard, and that's just the thing us kids need. I turn on the TV just as Dad came home. He's a bit later than usual, but only because he sets out stakes in the driveway, in case the snowplow came through. Dad said he was not in the mood to fix the mailbox again. He claims the TV from his spot on the couch, but I still keep my eyes glued to the bottom half of the screen, where surely any second now, they'd start listing all the places that would be closed tomorrow. Mom catches sight of this and makes it very clear my energy would be better spent doing my homework. <clears throat> Why, Mom? You know, when I'll be off school tomorrow. But she doesn't share my wisdom on the subject and makes me get to it. By the time I finish, I see huge flakes beginning to fall outside, so I turn my attention back to the TV. I go through all the rituals I knew to make sure we got the day off. Pajamas inside out, spoon under my pillow, and of course the sacred snow day dance. And finally, there it is, across the TV, that faithful list of school closings. And there we are, we're closed. We are, mom, come see, we're closed. And I can't help it, I have a huge grin on my face the rest of the evening. And when my giant brick of an alarm blares to life the next morning, it takes mere seconds before I'm grinning again. Because the snowstorm is the talk of the television that morning, but I can barely hear it as I shovel the cereal into my mouth and prepare to sprint outside. Not before mom bars the way. Apparently flannel PJs and unlaced shoes won't cut it. So she bundles me up the proper way. First, the trusty Wonder Bread bags under my boots. Mom insists I throw on a hat and put my hood up at the same time. I can't put my arms out! But every second feels like a year, and mom is visibly impatient. And I know why, she's trying to catch up on one life to live. Finally, when the front door's thrown open, I don't feel any cold except a bit on my tingling cheeks. But I don't care, it is a winter wonderland out there. And you better believe I am set to enjoy every bit of it. But first, a quick bathroom break. Yeah, I know I should have gone before, okay? I pretend I'm on ice skates and glide down the frozen over concrete whooping in triumph and watching my air make puffs in the wind. It snowed a bunch, enough to pile up in some places as high as my elbows. That means some of my other friends can't make it here. But in these days, neighbors are friends too. So it's no trouble for me and the other kids to meet up and begin our day's adventures. Luckily, my best friend lives right down the street and he's kicking up snow as he sprints over. We didn't have to text to meet up. We just knew. Snow meant all day outside together. Turns out his big bro wouldn't be joining us, but I see his footprints as he goes door to door. 
offering to shovel anyone's driveway. You know, trying to make some extra cash for that first car. I know he's gonna try to enlist our help later when he gets tired, so I'm gonna brew up some excuses. As for us kids, we hold a serious council meeting to decide whose yard has the best hills. We all agree it's actually mine, and grabbing our sleds, we converge on my backyard. And thank goodness I had just gotten a flexible flyer sled for Christmas. It's bright red and gorgeous, perfect to look as cool as can be. The kids in the house behind ours aren't so lucky, but they cleverly rigged some trash can lids into a worthy sled, complete with rope handles to hang on with. Then they went and got some Pam spray, and we were really able to fly. My neighborhood crush compliments them on the clever idea. I'm too busy complimenting myself when my best friend betrays me and shoves my sled down the slope. All I can do is hang on as snow sprays everywhere. I whoosh down our property and right past the house behind us. Honestly, that had to be a new record. It's a long trek back to the top of the hill, and two more sleds speed past me before I return. But I don't feel cold at all with all this trekking. There had just been some big trips up Mount Everest on the news, and I was pretty sure this was good training for the next expedition. My best friend Paul is taking his time up the last bit of hill. I do the proper thing and offer my hand to help, but when I do, that's when he springs his trap and shoves a snowball right into my face. The snow practically burns, it's so cold. I do declare this needs retaliation. I heave my sled up like a shield while I retreat, finding a good bush to take cover. Now I begin to build my snowy ammunition. We're all scrambling now, throwing snowballs at anyone we can see. We never really call a ceasefire, we just kind of tire it out. That sliver of skin between the sleeve of my coat and the edge of my gloves was starting to sting as the cold started creeping in. And that means only one thing. I need to take a break. We retreat back to my house, where mom has surely heard all the yelling, and when the door opens, I'm greeted with the sweet smell of home-cooked meals, steaming bowls of soup, and burning hot mugs of cocoa. Once our slushy outdoor shoes are off, we're allowed to feast, and boy do we. All things considered, it's already been a wonderful day but we still have some items on our checklist. The cold can't touch me after this hot lunch. Thank you, mama. Charging back into that winter wonderland, now covered in footprints. But my front lawn looks upsettingly bare, so we all fix that by sprawling out in the snow, arms and legs kicking. We're like reverse cookie cutters as we carve snow angels into the white lawn. As I look up, a few stray flakes drift down from the blanket of gray above, and I open my mouth to catch whatever might come my way. But that gives my friend an idea, and before I know it, he's stomping over to the nearest streetlight with an appraising look. In a blink, we're all placing bets on what would happen if he licked the frozen pole. Clint is one crazy kid, and he actually looks like he's about to do it. When another kid rushes up to watch, slips and slides and slides and slides. He is just cruising down the street. Well, this just introduced us to a new thing to try. And a moment later, we're all penguin sliding around the neighborhood. I can't really remember ever having this much fun. But now the sun is fading, or at least I assume it is I never saw it all day. My hands hurt, and my feet feel numb. But honestly, I wouldn't have it any other way. I'm still sad not all of my friends could make it. The roads were a bit too perilous, and the trek too far. But the best part about today is that it's Friday meaning we have an entire weekend to play in the snow. And who knows, maybe with the roads a bit clearer, my faraway friends can come and play too. Good golly gee, snow days truly are as special as they come. These were the days we all treasured, a surprise gift, when school was set aside and a child's joy was all that mattered. When getting snowed in meant a chance to explore outside with neighborhood friends, not just a chance to play Fortnite on TV. Let's be honest, we really got to enjoy a golden age of snow days when they were rare treasures we appreciated for every second we had them. All right, my snow day has ended, but now we want to hear about yours. What rituals did you have when you got a snow day? Did your mom make you wear 10 layers just to go outside? Did mom make a hot bowl of soup or a grilled cheese sandwich to warm you up? 
get in the comments and tell us all things Snow Day memories. We really look forward to reading your comments. Before you head out of here, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to our channel for more content like this. And from all of us here at Do You Remember, we want to thank you for watching.